moody Puerto Rican prog rock, pop fusion, and a post-rock doubleheader. All of this and more on the Progcast Friday Top 5. Good morning, Prague fans. It is Friday, November 20th. I'm your host, Randy Salo, and you are listening to the Progcast Friday Top 5. Every Friday, a lot of new music comes out, which can be hard to get through. So my co-host Dario and I sift through all of this stuff, pull out five new releases that we think you'll like, and present them on this show. So go grab your smartphone, head over to Bandcamp, Spotify, or wherever you listen to new music, and check out these new releases. First up, let's start with an EP that actually dropped last week unexpectedly and without warning. Swedish folk proggers, Ritual, have dropped their first new music in 13 years. The aptly titled Glimpses from the Story of Mr. Bogd is a 20-minute adventurous romp into classic prog rock from the likes of Yes, King Crimson, Trans-Siberian Orchestra, and the like. If you like your prog with a flair of fun and whimsy, you should definitely check this out. For something completely different, the pop fusion trio Dirty Loops, who gained notoriety on YouTube by covering modern pop songs with a sort of jazz fusion flair, are releasing their EP. Actually, this Wednesday it released, and the EP is called Phoenix. They've been releasing singles over the past year, and they include a sort of live playthrough on YouTube, which you should definitely check out. The pop influence is really heavy, but then it dives right into some crazy jazz fusion territory. They kind of like start a song that's very poppy, but like really free in the instrumental department, amazing vocals, and then it kind of dives sometimes into like a three or four minute outro section, which is just uh, crazy instrumental soloing and stuff like that. Very cool stuff. These guys are masters at their instrument, and it's just a joy to watch them play, so I highly recommend it. If you like your prog rock dark and moody, then I highly suggest you check out the new long player from Puerto Rico's Avandra. It's called Skylighting. I'm still spinning from their live performance at the Prague Space Online Festival back in October, which you can still catch at festival.theprogspace.com. For fans of Catatonia, Mother of Millions, it, it relies a lot more on mood and sonic textures than it does on like heavy, in-your-face, modern metal riffing. Um, this record really vibes. Let's wrap this up with a double header. From Sweden, experimental instrumentalists PG Lost are releasing their new long player, Oscillate, today via Pelagic Records. This is cinematic, bold post-rock for fans of Explosions in the Sky, Mogwai, and God as an Astronaut, featuring members from Cult of Luna, Ghost, and The Great Discord. Top-notch post-rock here. Traveling all the way south to Munich and my bass pick of the week... Pictures from Nadira are releasing their long-awaited follow-up to 2016's Nadira. Out today on Fluttery Records, the four-track EP Marula is filled with anthemic guitars building into shimmering crescendos and has no problem sticking its toes comfortably into post-metal territory with flavors of Russian circles or If These Trees Could Talk. Where massive drums rule and bassist Kai Metzner does double duty seamlessly blending distorted bass and gnarly synths. Highly recommended. Those are our picks for this week. Pro tip, last Monday on the regular podcast, Dario interviewed bassist Eugene Abdukhanov from Ginger ahead of their live release, Alive in Melbourne. And yesterday on the regular podcast, uh, Dario also interviewed Jonas Renkse from Catatonia about their new live in the studio album, Dead Air. This originally aired... Uh, as a live concert during the corona lockdown earlier this year. So definitely check that out as well. If you like the show, please rate and review us wherever you listen to this podcast. For regular episodes of the podcast, tune in Mondays and Thursdays. This show is on Fridays. If you want more written reviews and interviews, including a new deep dive into the Aryan discography, check out theprogspace.com. This has been the Progcast Friday Top 5. I've been Randy Salo. You've been awesome. See you next Friday, Prog fans.